That's right, folks. Back once again with another match review. Looking back at Butman Rovers' latest match. That's right. The, tar the Derby win. That's right. And Ewood Park. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button. Get your bang up All things Rovers related, championship related, winning at last related. We've got it all here, boys. At work. Yes, I'm in the bloody doldrums. That's right, of course. But we're here, of course, to, de to debrief, digress. Of course, the latest uh, victory at long last. It's been a lifetime. Goodness gracious me. As Rovers finally find the back of the net. Uh, of course. So let's break it down. But of course, before that, big shout out to my patrons. Smash your subscribe if you're new. Smash your subscribe. One-stop shop. Rovers related. Let's get into it. Of course. So here are we a go. I've got to bring it uh, up close and personal. Well, that's right. Of course, Rovers. 3-1 win in the end. Goodness gracious me. That's right. It's been a long, long time coming. Uh, in a game that, uh, that flip-flopped. In fact, at halftime, I was ready. I was ready to pull, pull the trigger and say, you know what, Mowbray? I'm done with you. I'm absolutely done with you. Uh, and it would have been a prime time to, of course, replace managers at the end of the next game against Reading. But, of course, Mowbray has got himself an extra life as, of course, we remain uh, rooted in the top six at long last and, of course, comfortable now at fourth for at least a couple more days as well as we go forward to the next game. But 3-1 it was in the end. Uh, Darby actually struck first in the first half Ravel Morrison on the score sheet uh, it was not the prettiest goal in fact probably if there was a goal for the worst or the worst goal of the month competition that would be well up there as it was scrappy messy absolutely anything you wanted uh, and ultimately bumbled in the back of the net and Derby County were in front and to be honest with you that first half was probably one of the worst first halves I've seen uh, Rovers play and of course when they're there when the chips are down uh, we need uh, we need heroes. We need we need leaders. We need uh, 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 fighters for the for the badge for the club. Um, and uh, of course, Mowbray did decide to up the ante in the second half, make monster changes. Of course, two big ones: Dak Garino coming on, Gallagher as well, and they were two monstrously important figures for the second half. As of course, Rovers. Um, uh, Rovers actually found it an equaliser pretty pretty well into the into the second half. Scotty Wharton with a bullet heady on the fifty third minute. Uh, ba uh, God, of course, get that ball, ball in the back of the net uh, to. Give Rovers, of course, an equaliser on that badge. Second up, of course, it was Tyrese Dolan. Of course, was a little bit unlucky to miss as well to get the ball in the back of the net. But ultimately, he did find it uh, to make it 2-1 in the end. Gallagher wrapping it up, of course, later on. Uh, deep, deep, deep in stoppage time to put the cherry on top for Rovers. Rovers, of course, were a little bit lucky uh, as well as Derby had a man uh, uh, stretch it off. Callum Cousin Richards, of course, former Rover, has scored an important goal for us in the past. Um, but uh, but today he was stretched off uh, late on in the game. Uh, and of course, with Rovers, track record of playing against 10 men quite recently, not the greatest, but we managed to find out and hold out in the end uh, for the 3-1 uh, result. A monstrous result keeps us in the thick of things, puts Derby well and th well truly in that relegation uh, discussion again, as Barnsley, I think they got a result against Bristol City today to really put the cat amongst the pigeons down the foot there. Of course, as you look at the stats here, 41% possession for Rovers, 59% possession for Derby. We did have more shots than them, but only just uh, we had more shots off. Uh, well, they had more shots off a target than we did, and again, we had more corners than them. Just the one for them, nine for us. And of course, for uh, the free kicks were pretty much even. Stevens as well. Let's take a little look, a closer look at the stats. It is a little bit hard for me to see here. I need a, I do need a new set of eyes. Uh, but of course, uh, elaborating on that, big chances. Uh, we had three of them in the uh, in total. Uh, one of them was missed. Two of them, of course, were probably converted. They had two big chances. Of course, converted one of them, and missed the rest as well. In the air, were we the best in the air? No, we were second best, of course, today. Derby County with 23 aerial duels, 122 for Rovers at the end of the day. That's, of course, the 490. Let's take a look at the first half stats then as we get a little bit closer to it. Uh, of course, like I said, not like I said, but like I said, first half was dominated by Derby. 56% possession for them. Eight shots for those. Two of them off on target. Four of them off target. And we got uh, two block shots as well. Rovers, of course, two shots. Sorry, three shots for them in uh, the first half. One shot on target, two off. Uh, no big chances, and pretty, I think they were booed off at half time. Booed off, of course. That's not been the case for, for Rovers this season, but of course, when you're losing to run of the mill, bottom of the table, Wayne Rooney managed team, you've got to, you, you, you can't be, you can't be losing. You can't be losing at home. Uh, I give Derby the benefit of the doubt if it were to get a result at Pride Park. Yes. But uh, it's supposed to be a fortress, as he would park. I know it hasn't been of late, but losing to them, the way that we did and the performance that we did in the first half was diabolical. If we could grade both of the first and the second halves completely separate, we would have got an F for the first half. Absolutely shit show shambles. And of course, Derby were definitely the winners in the first half comfortably. In the second half, though, different beast. Uh, Rovers scoring three goals without return. And again, it was the way that we've played. Possession football was in favour of Derby. They're coming at you 62% possession, 38% for Rovers. But when we, of course, we end the ball, we made it count. Uh, nine shots in 
in the second half. Four of them on, on target, three of them off target, and two were blocked. Uh, we had four corners as well, and we made the, the set pieces count. Two of the three goals were set pieces. Uh, Dolan, one of them, and the other one was Scotty Walton. Of course, the bullet header. The third was a piece of magic. Jars on the left-hand side, doing what he's meant to be doing and getting his first assist in blue and white colours. Gallagher, of course, doing uh, showing that he's not a one-trick pony with his feet. And, of course, he can uh, actually score with his head, which he bloody well did. And if you haven't seen the goals, check out my Twitter. They're well on there for your leisure. That's, of course, the tail of the tape there on the stats. Let's take a look at, of course, the, the starting 11s. Uh, starting with Rovers, of course. Kaminsky between the sticks. Scotty Wharton, of course. Van Heck, Lenhan uh, at the back there. We, of course, we had Rankin Costello on the right. He was shite still. Uh, on the left-hand side, Pickering, of course. Rothwell and Travis was in the, the midfield. And, and, and Bradley Johnson, for the most part of the first half, was playing as the most forward player. He was ahead of the likes of Kadra, ahead of Dolan. He was in the number nine slot. And I was thinking, what on earth am I watching? Uh, fortunately, uh, he was listening. Mowbray was listening. His ears were burning because it was a shit show in the first half. Absolute shambles. Three changes, or at least two changes were made. Dacarino and Gallagher to, 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 to change it up a bit. Uh, Costello was taken off. And so was Bradley Johnson. Um, and yeah, we were basically we're throwing everything at it. Uh, and it actually worked out a treat. Uh, as for uh, later on, Giles did come on uh, for Kadra, who uh, is just not having the rub of the green at the moment. Kicking off all those, take a look at Derby. Also up 26, Cash in Davies uh, at the back. Centre backs, Buchanan on the left, Byrne on the right. Uh, Thompson, Bird, uh, Abuobi, uh, War uh, Lawrence uh, Knight, and Morrison up uh, top, of course, who did get the goal. As for their substitutions, a couple of little fruity ones. Uh, Abusele coming on, uh, Plonge as well. Uh, Kasim Richards, of course, was brought on, but it was also stretched off, uh, which was not great for him. Let's take a look at, of course, the match ratings then. They give the man of the match two. I think the actual man of the match was, of course, Scotty Walton 7.7, .7, though, on this one. Uh, the best player for uh, for Derby was uh, Ravel Morrison with a 7.9, which I think is a little bit ludicrous, uh, to be honest with you. I don't think his, his his first half was good, but the second half was shite. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what sometimes when I see these. I don't know where the heck they get that from. And of course, down the foot there, you can see the graphic, of course, where all the stuff uh, panned out last time. Let's take a look at the shot grid then, shall we? Of course, Rovers are represented by the Orange, that long ranger was Joe Rothwell trying to be, of course, uh, 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 trying to uh, contact the uh, inner Adam Armstrong in him, but of course his effort was well, well wide. And again, a lot of our shots were inside the box, which is good to see. Dakarino coming on. Uh, no shots for Dak, which is surprising. A three for Dolan, uh, two for Kadra, two for Gallagher, of course, coming on as a sub, and Rothwell with two. Scotty one with two, and one for uh, Van Heck as well. Uh, as for uh, Derby, the most shots coming from Morrison with four of them, three for Lawrence, and a few for the rest of the boys and, and, and the bees there, of course, for Derby. Let's take a look at the heat maps then shall of course Rovers are at the top end there of course and uh, Derby at the bottom uh, it's pretty much uh, a lot of grass covered by Derby and of course Rovers prefer on the right hand side to the left as you see from this graphic as well uh, that's of course a little bit what I've had to say about the match what's Tony Mo we got to say well here he is with his post-match thoughts of course words of wisdom and of course not the best of moods for Mowbray but he still got the W in the end I think Derby were good for staff I think we knew their possession based team I think you know to go to Bournemouth and have more possession than Bournemouth is pretty is pretty telling I think as Bournemouth are a very possession based team so um, we knew that they were going to play we didn't really have any day preparation for the game on the, with the back of the the, the, um, the the previous game at the weekend uh, you know it took a lot out of the team losing a 92nd minute goal and so we were just trying to put a team I should have maybe changed four, five, six, seven players to be honest because we looked a really tired emotionally drained football team for staff um, there was a lot of fear in them. They weren't playing as we play on the front foot. It's um, and and just a conversation after <coughs> half time really of, of our expectations and driven by them, um, we got on the front foot and we played how we play second half. I think and give Derby more problems and took their composure away from them and uh, we got the job done in the end. You said a couple of weeks ago that, that the dressing room was quite lively at Fulham at half time. Was it similar tonight? Yeah, it, isn't it? it's it's um, we've got one or two players who are really, really, really passionate about football, and um, and they want to win, as I want to win, and everybody wants to win. And yet, some lads, as I've said to you in the past, don't have that fire in the bellies. They just got good attributes, and sometimes you have to tell the ones who don't function like you function how what is required. And um, <coughs> that came from the floor, and it came from the manager today, and. Um, and I don't like being aggressive because I love the team to bits. I say it here every week how brilliant they are and how hard they work for each other and how dedicated they are and how desperate they are to do well. Um, and yet young players sometimes don't realise what it takes. We played against a well-coached team today. Um, 
and then when we got playing how we play you know you didn't see any of Derby's fluency and clever passing and good movement because we took it away from them which we should have done from the first whistle not the 45th mi uh, 45th minute um, but we got the job done in the end some 10 minute spell that when you scored your two goals wasn't it Listen, we scored set players, both goals were set players, you know, it's frustrating, we need to score open play goals, we scored one at the end, Giles put a great cross in and Gallagher scored and um, I'm pleased for the team, pleased for the strikers, you know, Dolan scored, Gallagher scored, um, an important, important three points, uh, we'll go to Reading and see if we can make another three on Saturday. Does that show a different way that you, you play, you change the system, you, you threw everything at it, didn't you? Well, we did it on Saturday as well and lost a goal in the ninety-second minute. So um, you know, it's, it swings and roundabouts really. Systems. Just tell them it's not about systems. You have to adapt. Of course, you do football, and and maybe you know I, I wouldn't talk for Derby, but maybe Derby didn't adapt to our our energy second half. And uh, you know, it's it's okay to be so well coached and have lovely passing lines and patterns. But then when the opposition do something different, you have to be able to adapt. And that's what the very very best teams do. Uh, well, the best players and the best teams, but. Um, yeah, listen. When you get to this stage, it's about winning. It's about getting three points. You know, we've we've uh, we've really struggled, and yet the team, as I've said week after week, we've been fantastic. I think, and yet when if you think back, ten games of how did we not score in that game? How did we? You know, we missed a couple of penalties over the last few weeks that would have undoubtedly we'd have won games if we'd have scored first at Swansea, if we'd have scored first at against Notts Forest out here. On, uh, I'm 100 percent sure we'd have won them football matches. Yet we missed amazing chances. The team played extremely well in them games, and yet you get judged by the results. And so, as I keep saying to them, we have to be able to be adapt. We have to uh, find a way to win. Um, and they did extremely well today. They they played with emotion second half, and that's what got us through. Meanwhile, what's been said on social media, let's take a little look at it, shall we? Of course, uh, Adam Sotuki said, honestly, didn't think we had that left in us at half time. Wouldn't turn around, such a big win, but we have to back this up now. Intensity second half was so much more like it. Rothwell, Dak together, class. Meanwhile, Carl Wick said, great subs. Credit Rothwell, who I thought was awesome in both halves. Uh, really happy for Gallagher. How good does it feel to win again? Forgot what it was like. Fair play, Mowbray. Best second half team talk of the season. Still got a chance. Aaron Holt said, massive credit to Mowbray and the team for turning it around at half time. Let's kick on with the rest of the season and see where we end end up. Lee Ryan, not the one from Blue, but this one, of course, get in there, lads. Uh, that second half is what we are all about. Pure passion and control uh, of the half. Let's go on winning run and secure players. Barnes, Hand of Barnes, said it's almost like when you play your players in the position they're supposed to play uh, a decent, uh, they play a decent attacking formation and don't have a CDM at striker. You might, just might, score some goals. What a revelation. Robson Green, not that one, but this one. Of course, the credit when due. Tony changed it at a break and we were a different team. Can't believe how bad first half we, we were, though. Uh, let's get a run going now. We are the Rovers, aka who's this fella? Of course, it is Mr. Mac. Uh, says superb turnaround. Full credit to the players for turning it around after a woeful first half and playing superbly in the second. Dak is their man. Ant Antic said score more goals in this game than we have in 2022. Brilliant. Gareth Batsby said outstanding, but we cannot rest. Take what's been learned here and use it. Keep the momentum going and build on this. But for now, enjoy the day, everybody. Scott State, a cracking cross. Uh, whatever. Uh, what about from Giles? I think and Elliot Bennett there. Great win for Rovers too tonight, especially going a goal down. All to play for for the running. Keep on believing. Even. I do like the fact that Elliot Bennett keeps tabs on us as, of course, we uh, as we uh, as, as we go on our own journey, and of course, Shrewsbury go on theirs. Meanwhile, what's been going on elsewhere out in the Championship? Us, of course, uh, Bur Middlesbrough, big 2 0 win for them on the road to Birmingham. Bournemouth can only draw against Reading. Surprise, surprise. Barnsley with a 2 0 win for them over Bristol City, and West Brom picked up the double against Fulham. Newton against two, uh, Preston will be tomorrow. Coventry against Hull as well. Millwall against Huddersfield, of course, both informed sides there. Blackpool against Sheffield United. Hopefully, they could do us a favour. Forest against QPR, uh, and of course, Cardiff against Stoke. And Peterborough taking on Swansea, of course. Let's take a look at what the table looks like right here, right now. Of course, two points adrift of Huddersfield, who do have a game in hand and of course could have a bit of a gap if of course they win against Millwall uh, meanwhile Derby down to 23rd they remain there and of course uh, all could change though uh, tomorrow afternoon or evening of course let's take a look at what's going on this weekend a couple of games being postponed because of the FA Cup but of course, Derby will take on Coventry. The early kickoff, or one of the early kickoffs on Saturday, Sheffield United against Barnsley, uh, Stoke uh, against Millwall, Swansea against Birmingham, Huddersfield against Bournemouth. Bristol City against West Brom, Hull City against Luton Town, Fulham against Forest is postponed, QPR against Peterborough as well, and Rovers will go to Reading to hopefully make it back-to-back -back wins. But that's it, my friends. That is all I've got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash your thumbs up. But if you're new, smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. Until then, dudes, of course, I'm going to revel in this. I'm at work, but I'm going to get back to it. Until then, dudes, we're done right now.